The following is a DW Ancient Egypt production. Snafru's final pyramid, the second pyramid at Dashur, is called the Red Pyramid and is the first true pyramid in the world. This pyramid takes its name from the color of the stonework in the evening sun. The Red Pyramid, also called the North Pyramid, is the largest of the three major pyramids located at the Dashur Necropolis. The Red Pyramid was not always red. It used to be cased with white Tura limestone, but only a few of these stones now remain at the corner of the pyramid's base. During the Middle Ages, much of the white Tura limestone was taken for building the city of Cairo, revealing the red limestone beneath. Perhaps of greater importance is the fact that some of the casing was dated. This not only gives us clues to how long the pyramid took to build, but also the sequence of work that took place. From these, we know that the pyramid was probably begun around the 22nd to 29th year of Snefru's reign. Other dates tell us that two years later, six layers of stone had been constructed. Within four years, 30% of the pyramid had been completed and the entire complex was finished in about 17 years. Like most Egyptian pyramids, the only entrance is on the north side that leads to a 206-foot passageway that descends to the first chamber. The first chamber has a corbelled ceiling with a height of about 40 feet. All three of the chambers in this pyramid have corbelled ceilings. Even with some 2 million tons of stone above, this ceiling design is so strong that there are no cracks or structural problems even today. A short passage on the south side of the first chamber leads to a second chamber. These first two chambers are at ground level, while a third chamber is higher, built within the masonry of the pyramid itself. The second chamber is unusual in that it lies directly under the apex of the pyramid. It is one of the only pyramids in Egypt to have this design layout. The final chamber with its entrance passageway about 25 feet above the floor of the second chamber is where Sneferu was most likely buried. Queen Hedeferis's original tomb was most likely located nearby. It was really Pharaoh Sneferu who showed the world how to build pyramids. There were disasters, but he never gave up. He would be remembered by later Egyptians as one of Egypt's greatest pharaohs and future kings would attempt to model their success based on his reign.